Hello and welcome to the studio. Today I'd like to show you something to help you stay on top of maintenance on your track car or work truck. Keeping track of when to change your oil or to replace your brakes is easy in a regular street car. You can go by the odometer or just wait for the maintenance indicator to come on in a newer car. But what about a track car or a tow vehicle? Unlike a regular street car, they run at high RPMs and heavy loads for long periods of time. Now, car manufacturers say that you should perform maintenance more frequently in these cases. But what does more frequently mean? Every 3,000 miles? 1,000 miles? 500 miles? The answer is none of these. Mileage isn't a good way to measure component wear on these types of vehicles. For example, just 200 miles of running your car on a racetrack put as much wear on it as 5,000 miles of commuting. Fortunately, the aerospace industry came up with a solution for this a long time ago. The new mileage didn't tell you anything, so they measure wear by the number of hours that an airplane has been flying in the air. So now I'm going to show you how to make some simple modifications to your car so you can use the same method to make sure you keep your car running great no matter how hard you use it. Here's what I'm going to install on my race car to do just that. This is a Honeywell Hobbs 85,000 series hour meter, purchased from Aircraft Spruce for about $30. It's basically a stopwatch that counts up only when the car is running. All I need to do is to connect this lead to a 12 volt input that turns on when the ignition is on. I have this length of wire here connected to a quarter inch female blade connector, and on the other end I'm using one of these add a circuit fuse taps. All I have to do is to take a quick look at the inside of the fuse box cover or the service manual and figure out where I can plug this in. I'm going to plug this into the slot for my cigarette lighter socket, but you can use any of the ones that turn on when the car is on. I'll just take out the factory fuse here and put this in. The top fuse is for the Hobbs meter. The bottom fuse is for the existing circuit that's in the car. And that's it. Now I'll route the wires and mount the Hobbs meter in an inconspicuous location. Now to turn the ignition on, and there it is. The meter ticks every 5 seconds, and the little indicator on the right of the 1 tenth label changes from white to black to tell you that it's running. Because the race car is so loud that you can't hear anything anyway, I'm mounting my meter inside the car. But if you have a street car, I would recommend putting this in the engine bay so you don't have to hear it ticking while you drive. Now, what if your car doesn't have a modern electronic ignition system, or if you just don't feel like cutting and splicing wires into your nice new car? For those cases, we have this. It's a self-contained, battery-powered hour meter with a built-in inductive tack. This one's a DTI Tiny tack, but there's lots of other brands out there. Unlike the Hobbs meters, these have a limited lifespan of 5 years and after that the internal sealed battery will run out of juice. But the upside is that installation is much easier than the Hobbs. Just wrap this red wire lead around your number one spark plug wire once, so it can pick up the engine RPMs through induction. Snip off the excess wire. Then bolt the other wire to a ground somewhere in your engine bay. And that's it! You're ready to go! When the engine is on, the display will show a tachometer. In the background, it's also counting up the number of minutes and hours that the engine has been running. Turn the engine off, and it becomes an hour meter, exactly like the Hobbs meter. Unlike the Hobbs, this one doesn't tick so mount it wherever you like. Now you can accurately build a maintenance schedule based on how long you've been running your car rather than how far you've traveled. Just to give you an idea of what these maintenance schedules look like for a race car, here are the change intervals for a few things on the Prelude. Now at first glance, those intervals don't seem very long, do they? But if you think about it, 
Your average track day or race weekend equates to about 2 hours of hard running at high RPMs. 6 hours is 3 of those track weekends. That is a lot of stress on your drivetrain and suspension, even if you use racing oils and heavy duty parts like I do. In short, if you run track days or do a lot of heavy duty hauling with your car, I recommend taking a few minutes to install an hour meter. It will help you stay on top of your maintenance and avoid that costly, unwanted breakdown when you least expect it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the track.